I must tell you an interesting story. Where are you going? I'm not finished yet. <laughs> That's all right. I don't blame you. You want to get out of this Turkish bath. It's warm, isn't it? Well, if you think this is warm, you should have been with me in Tennessee. It's been 104 and 105 with a 98% humidity. You can have a bath just walking down the street. <laughs> Belanger and Woodrow were working at the airport in Montreal. It was their job to fuel the supersonic jet the Concorde. And as they were putting the fuel in, Belanger had his mouth open, which was not uncommon. And some of the fuel dripped in his mouth. So he called Woodrow and said, Hey, Woodrow, come here. Yeah, he said, you got to taste this, boy. He said, it tastes pretty good, this. So he tasted something. He said, by God, you're right, that tastes pretty good. Let's take a couple of gallons home and drink that stuff. So they took it home that night and they drank it. In the middle of the night, Belanger wasn't feeling very good. And he got up and he headed for the bathroom. When he passed the mirror, he looked in the mirror and his nose was out like this. And his arms were back like this. And the phone rang. He picked it up. The boy said, is that you, Belanger? He said, that's me. He said, uh, how do you feel? He said, I feel terrible. I don't think I've been so sick my whole life. I don't think I'm going to get better, man. He said, you should see me. He said, my nose is out like uh, an antenna, and my arms are back like wings. He said, have you been to the back room yet? No, he said, I don't go there yet, man. Well, he said, don't go. I'm calling from Tokyo. 